I'm very excited to be here. Um, we have something to share, a success story, uh, in a domain that never, nobody expected. I would even say this domain got forgotten from the Agile community. And we have accomplished twice the work in half the time in a highly regulated environment with a team that was totally new to Agile in a domain I will tell you in a minute. But how we started, the CKW is a Swiss energy company with 1,700 people, 800, 850 million yearly revenue, and there was one man, one single man, this scrum master, HP, uh, he is driving the change. He doesn't care about his position, that he is at the end of the hierarchy. He's looking for new, new ways. And one little side note, he's just one year uh, before retirement. He still, he still cares. And this is a story about him and our journey. And because he was the, the man with the most experience in Agile in this environment, he got a new task. We want to introduce this collaboration and communication platform. And he said, yeah, sure. We're going to implement it and deliver it in an Agile manner. But he also learned from previous projects, working under a non-agile contract made things really worse. So he said, you know, we do have all this stuff before. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. This handovers, the, this paperwork that is kind of unvaluable for the customers. We are losing time there. <laughs> You're laughing, but this is really reality. <laughs> so he got from the top management a milestone. By, end, by 1st of October, I want to have delivered this new communication collaboration platform where you have 1,700 stakeholders. Awesome. Thank you for this job. And he said, you know, if we're going to do that in a traditional way, we're going to have the six, 12 months. So we, what the fuck? We don't have any time left <laughs> for delivery, right? Uh, even worse than that, they, do not, they didn't have the, the capabilities in-house, so they would need to find a partner for doing that. So that was the moment he contacted us. And he said, isn't there another way with less handovers, more agile from the start? I said, yes, there is. We have developed uh, an approach that currently is really move, became a movement all over the world. It's called Lean Agile Procurement. What is it? It's not magic. It was said before in the morning, we just bring the right people together. So the people that are going to do the job, we bring them to the front, to the first moment in, uh, where we have the idea. Right? So no more handovers. Even the legal guy became part of the team, the procurement guy. Business, IT, everybody needed to achieve the goals. Right? So he said, wow, that sounds awesome. So we could spend more time in delivering value then. But how are we going to do that? And I said, well, we need a radical mind shift. The times of creating 100 pages specifications are over, because it's unpredictable. The users, if they see it the very first time, we get feedback, and all things, all the ideas get just useless. So we need to start working similar to startups, uh, business development, uh, where we accept uncertainty. Have you ever written a 100 pages business case? 
<laughs> Some of us have, but today we couldn't think of, right? So let me introduce to you for the whole process our main instrument that we used for the whole process. Uh, this is the lean procurement canvas. So we have two sections on the left hand, from your side, right hand side, we have the customer, the party that is looking for a partner, a product, a service that uh, supports, su supports him. And on the other side, we have the partner supplier. Now, I'm gonna dig on a very high level into the procurement canvas. In the middle, in the center of it, is it why we need this initiative. Which business objectives do we support with this uh, initiative? What are the goals, what are the vision of this initiative? We, we were engaged in, in another story where they couldn't answer those questions. We said, okay, then we don't start. There is no value for that. On the right hand side, we have the what. What are the customer needs? you're looking for. Uh, I'm an engineer, I'm looking for the solution and, and yeah, I have this idea. No, there are tons of possible solutions. But first of all, we need to have a conversation about the what, the needs, and also the customer. Who is our customer or user? And it's not the business. Who is paying the, the, uh, our paycheck? On the other side, we have the how. How are we gonna support or solve these needs. Okay. It could be services, products, combinations of it. And the most important thing that God's forgotten in the past in procurement is the people. Uh, so we have the two sides, do you remember? Par uh, buyer and supplier. So we put the names on it. Who gonna work together in an agile way? Hmm. Right. Uh, I don't know about the other states, but in Switzerland, we found the Holy Grail. This is an agile contract. Hmm. Now, I would like to give you an overview how we work through the whole approach, and then we deep dive into the example of the CKW. So first of all, we have the business case. We do initialize our cross-functional team, and for sure there are further team members from the supplier missing at that moment. We start to prepare ourselves. We collect the customer needs, we create our vision, timing, just everything we need. We might already uh, co-create a draft of an agile contract, right? And the, the canvas is just a summary of it. We also create a shortlist as a team, and then we just invite the vendors. In this case, we will come to that. We invited all the three vendors for two days in the same room. And then we just decide. We decide and start working. And this we can do within days sometimes even hours instead of months. Okay. Is this perfect? No, it's not. But we accept uncertainty. So let's jump into the CKW. So this is, these are real pictures. So we invited core, potential core team members, plus the main stakeholders, especially the ones with power, into a kickoff in a, in initialization workshop. And we set up together a cross-functional team, build, uh, build alignment on the business goals, a vision for the initiative, etc. We started to name people that might be useful to accomplish our vision. We also had an internal negotiation about empowerment. So who decides on the shortlist? Who has the final decision? Stuff like that we discussed. Then the team was formed, and we said, yeah, we know the customer needs. 
or we assume to know. But let's invite, in this case, this people behind the eight personas, the customer segment. And we run a four-hour workshop with 50 people, and we ended up with a prioritized list, or eight prioritized lists, of their needs. The team collected that and made one priority out of it, and prepared for the things like uh, created a draft of the of the agile contract and the short list and so forth. And just one month later, we started this big room event with all the three vendors in one room. And you see all the three vendors got such boards. We had no, we had 100% transparency. We put all the information we had on the table. The table in the middle was the CKW team. So they were accessible during the whole the whole uh, two days to answer questions, talk about risks, and, and so forth. So we did kind of a speed dating before we married. <laughs> right? By the way, on, on this picture is the sponsor, the CFO, talking about the vision of CKW and his personal goals of this initiative. In the room, were the people that will do the job from the three vendors, plus their stakeholders and sales and legal, every, uh, everybody needed. And they had questions. How do you mean that? It was interesting to see. The, main, the aim of the two days were we want to co-create an agile contract. I mean, we had this draft. But can we figure out in detail, is this, are we on the same eye level? What is the timing? What are the costs or a cost roof we expect? Who are we going to collaborate together? All this stuff we figured out within these two days. And as we had the people in the room that will do the job, we let them do a pro proof of concept in parallel. So what we see here on the picture is a user story map. Uh, we had around 50 user stories, just a description for the customer needs, and we let them estimate in front of us. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them said, oh, we are agile since 10 years and whatever, and then doing a relative estimation, they were blocked. You see immediately, if they tell the truth, on what level they are. <laughs> uh, and this was very important for the CKW team. They said, we are on a very beginner level. We need somebody that has some experience to bring us both forward. We co-created an agile roadmap. It became our roadmap. Uh, CKW and the vendor, there was no difference anymore. It's our roadmap as a joint team. That lead to some discussions about uh, warranty and, and risk share and stuff, but that were very wealthy discussions where we run some breakout rooms. We observed how they react, I told that. And we did, all, after each block, some presentations <coughs> of the achievements, of the results, uh, from these vendors, and they were competitors. It was fun to see, because they realized, oh, they do a great job in presentation. We need to improve the next time. They came up with some great ideas. We're going to uh, introduce some great ideas, too. Right? And we gave instant feedback at every stage. It was very healthy. As we run a proof of concept, and we kind of had two days, uh, two one-day sprints. We demoed the results every evening to the real users. And it was an open invitation. Everybody could show up. And those guys had questions too and gave some feedback. At the end of the second day, the team decided that this is, this is our partner. 
not the CFO, the team decided this is it. And day after, they continued working. Because we set up already an agile team. It's all set. We just can continue. Now, if you look at, at the timeline, this was a five weeks lead time. And you see the green blocks, the CKW team work two days a week. So there is plenty of room to improve. We recently did it in two weeks, no problem. So. The vendors were just involved two days. You don't need to do two days. You can do it half a day, depends on your context. And the information they got as information in advance was such an email. No tender documents, nothing. Just show up with the right people. These are the goals we want to accomplish. This is the way we like to work together, etc. Now, our results. So comparing to another case uh, at CKW from the past, we had the numbers. We were four, four times faster. But as I said, there is a lot of error in the system. They could be eight times faster. And they even didn't have very high skills in Agile. So we did the learning on the job. That was a surprise to me. We had just half of the effort comparing to the other, uh, the classic way of working. I thought it's, hey, we have, we have a full staff team. It has to be more effort, but no. This is a quote for all the procurement guys. If, do we have some procurement guys in here? No? Uh, don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> so just because we ask the users, and let them prioritize. And we ask some powerful questions like, if you run out of budget, which of your needs you could skip for the moment? Those needs were never part of our scope. Right? So we always worked on the uh, most important things. We asked even the vendors that lost. Huh? And they said, please, please, can we do, redo that? Please, can we just do it the next time always like this? Because it was a more efficient also for the vendors. And as this first initiative is done or successfully uh, accomplished, the initial cost roof, what was estimated by the team uh, at these two days, we used just a 65% of it. And during the process of agile delivery, there were new ideas coming up, so we overachieved. I mean, this is a guess. It just, should be just more than 100%. So in the meanwhile, we got rewarded by the procurement community. So please expect the next time you're in contact with some procurement guys that they might ask you, do you know something about Agile procurement? Could you do that? And I would like to invite you to start doing things like that, because it's just everybody of us that could be the change. As HP, he just left his comfort zone. He looked for a buy-in and said, no, we have to do it different. Everybody of you could become HP. Uh, I would like to invite you. You don't have to apply it full, full stack. Take bits and pieces out of it. We use it as an offer. In the meanwhile, a one-page offer. Or we use it as an assessment tool of current uh, relationships. So all in. I think we created a very positive impact. And this is always a win-win for all the, all the parties involved. If you want to know more, we are publishing our cases to the Business Agility Institute library as well. And we have the other page, uh, leanagileprocurement.com, 
where you can download the Lean, uh, Lean Procurement Canvas for free. It's open source. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>